Hi, I'm Erandi. Hi, I'm Erandi. We are from Sri Lanka. You are watching SM by me. times that I'm alone by myself to really have time to think you know about football and things that are going on in my mind one of those times is on these 5 a.m. morning drives to go work out every day and I have all different type of thoughts when I you know go on these drives all of the time those thoughts are doubts a lot of those times those thoughts are you know positive about continuing to work hard and trusting in the process there are a lot of scary things that go through you know a player's mind that I'm now experiencing firsthand that I've heard from other players who've been injured or have played 10 years in the league and not playing anymore have played two years in the league and not played anymore I have a lot of friends like that right now before I went through this, and they would tell me some of the things that they would go through their minds, some of the scary thoughts that comes with this part of, the, of this profession. I did a podcast where I talk about these things uh, on a much deeper level, so you guys can kind of get inside my brain of how I, what I've been thinking about, and how hard it is going through something like this. For anybody who does something for a long time, most of their life, and they have a fear of not doing it, or they have a fear of that thing might be taken away from them. That's when you start to have thoughts about, you know, who you really are. You start to question yourself and your abilities. And sometimes when I drive, I have those kind of thoughts too. You can accomplish anything no matter what you go through in your life. To not point fingers that your circumstances just didn't happen the way you wanted them to for, and for that reason, you know, you have excuses to not work hard every day. Getting up every day in the morning sucks, but I know it's what I gotta do. I gotta get up every day and work hard and stay ready for my opportunity. And we have to take that approach with everything that we do um, in our lives, no matter what it is. Hope what I'm saying is making sense. <laughs> A lot of the times, you know, these thoughts are just what are in my mind and I'm pretty much talking to myself. I think for me to speak and, you know, really be honest about, you know, the things that I have going on mentally and how I'm feeling are important. You know, being completely transparent about, you know, what I'm going through, I just don't want to show the good times. You know, I want to show the hard times too. But to always remember where you start and to always remember that it wasn't, you know, that it wasn't easy. And you appreciate those moments. And it always like, brings you back to center to understand, you know, whenever you set a goal and you achieve it, there was a process and there was a struggle. And when you can sit and talk about those things and look back on them, it makes you appreciate where you're at that much more. You know, to keep your faith in God and to know that taking it day by day, trusting the process is all that matters. And just believe that you can do it, no matter what goal you have in your life, a big one, a small one. You have a goal, you set it, but know that there's a process in that. And take every day, day by day. Don't procrastinate. You know, you get to make a choice. Are you gonna say one day or is it day one today? This is here now to uh, give us some interesting context in uh, today's storm. Yeah, just so you know, this is a big storm. We don't get storms like this very often. 9.9 .9 inches, February 20th to 21st in 2014. We should beat that. 10 and a half inches on December 9th, 2012. I think we'll beat that. And 17.1, December 10th and 11th, 2010. That was the dome destroyer. I don't think we get here, but look at this. It's one of the biggest snowstorms we've had in at least five, six years. That's a big one. It's a good time to fire up that snowblower. Just make sure you're not blowing it into the wind or you'll have to do it again and again 
and again. It is still windy out there. That's a problem because we're seeing blowing and drifting snow. Visibilities are still down where the snow is coming down. So it's very difficult to see, let alone get around on the roadways. As we head through the overnight, uh, we'll certainly hang on to the winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings for the next hour or so. Here's one good note. It's fairly warm out there and it's not going to get cold. So as the plows plow and drop the salt behind, those chemicals will go to work. As far as the snowfall itself, tapering off over the next few hours, moving out during the overnight should be gone by tomorrow morning. And a little sunshine during the afternoon should help the salt go to work on those roads. As far as the breakdown, I'm gonna help you. To start roads still in I'll push you backwards. Should be much improved by the time you're home. <laughs> How'd I do? He did a nice job. I got you almost falling. Off. You did? <laughs> Whew. I'm dead tired. Okay. <laughs> April. <laughs> Who? Oh, um, Dela Sal. So the guy said, call me the week before you register for classes and I can kind of give you. This is by far. The worst snow I've ever seen since I've been in Minnesota. This is bad, bro. I had to cover up Maddie. I don't want the snow to get in her face. But we out here. We survivors. We survivors. Hopefully we make it home. Cause everybody getting stuck. I don't know what's going on. There's a will. There's a way. Your girl needs some Diet Coke and some french fries. But everybody's out here in the McDonald's parking lot getting stuck. So I've said head to park over there. We're not even gonna try the drive-thru. Mission accomplished. The snow doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care if you're a van or a compact car. It'll get you. So we made it home safely, but that was some crazy stuff going on out there. We made it, Mama Citas. We made it, Mama Citas. We made it, Mama Citas. Charlotte is pumping right now. Don't put me on. They can't see anything. <laughs> Why is She's... that funny? But now we're stuck in the house. Honestly, if it wasn't snowing, we'd be stuck in the house anyway because it's too cold outside. You know, your brother, brother don't like that cold weather. You know what I'm saying? The next challenge is figuring out how to get food because I ain't driving again because there's a high possibility that you will get stuck out there in that 50 inch snow blizzard outside. Hi, can I place another for pickup? Sweet, that should be right about 20 minutes. Thank you. Right, here goes nothing. Now I don't have a jacket on because honestly you don't really need a jacket because it's not cold, it's just super snowy. Well it's cold. See I'm getting used to that Minnesota language because it's cold out here, but compared to how cold it usually is, it's freezing. Yeah. This light is so clutch. I can vlog in the dark outside and have light so y'all can see me. That's really, really bad. I want you to understand how deep this snow is. This is the snow. That's my foot. Look how deep my foot is in the snow. Thankfully, where I'm going to pick up food that ain't that far from my house. But walking in the snow reminds me of like playing. Like I've only played one game in the snow. My last game of my college career was against Ohio State in the snow. One of the coolest college experiences in my life. Because I never played in snow up until that point. But I'm getting... Walking in the snow is a workout, I tell you that. Try, try going forward a little bit more. Okay. And then throw it in reverse and we're just gonna go for okay. it. So come come forward a little bit as well if you can. So I usually do the rock. There we go. Here we go. Kinda, I'll figure something out. Your car start too? Which one is it? Right on the side here. Okay, I hope you too. What's up? Snowpocalypse. What's your name, bro? This is Madness. I'm Logan. Logan? Yo, man, Logan just met up on the street what? picking yeah. up food. Now my man's stuck. We just helped some. Do you know her? I do. You do? Yeah. We That's just helped Bria. his friend out, He's his friend Bree out. Deeds. Now we gotta help my man Logan get his car out the snow. So Sorry, we what? tried to shovel, tried to get all the shit out. I threw towels into the tires. Okay. I'm gonna scrape a little bit, but yeah, we'll see, okay. we'll see what we got. Going. You 
It's almost there, but keep going. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. Yeah. Should we try pushing him back? I think, no, I think we... Set it and try it. Oh, <laughs> what's up, dude? I didn't even know it was you. <laughs> Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Let's go backwards now. All right. Ready? There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. <laughs> Called it. Oh, my God. I guess I'm uh... I gotta get my food. All right, bro. Hey, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> man. All right, easy, bro. Hey, hey that would've gotten towed in the morning. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, bro. Bro, bro come on. No, 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 Save me $250. No, 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 it's cool, bro, it's cool. It's cool. I'll pay it forward. No, all right, bro, be easy. Hey, thank you, too. All right, y'all. I appreciate that. No problem, bro. God, you're the fuck. Let's go, baby. Three cars, one day. I'm cold, and I gotta get my food, because my food gonna be cold. 